words, she wasn't supposed to be alive. I don't care. You want me to lie? I have a video. Revenge is crazy. Yeah. No. Nasty. Our Bill's most shocking show moments. I'm not getting caught here. Unbelievable update <laughs> right now. Hello and thanks for watching. The action on this show never really stops, especially when it comes to family dramas and baby mamas. Today we're taking a look back at some of our most memorable guests and finding out what happened to them when they left our stage. Let's start with a heartbreaking story of Brittany and her birth mother, Demetria. Brittany was given up for adoption when she was only two years old. But when Brittany finally found Demetria, she was outraged to learn that Demetria had raised five other siblings, none of whom were abandoned like her. Take a look at this. I'm here, Bill, because when I was two years old, my mom gave me away. But what doesn't make sense to me is that she raised my older siblings and she raised my younger siblings, but I was the only one that she gave up for adoption. So today you want answers from your mom. She raised five others? Yes, five. But she rejected you? Yes. Any inkling as to why? I have no idea, that's why I'm here. Family members have told me about that she abused me, that she put me in a drawer, that she put me in a freezer, she burned me. I mean, it's so much, and when I asked her about it, she denied everything, but, you know. So you, you were born biologically of your mom, yes. and you finally saw her two or three months ago. You went into the adoptive system, yes. then you were rejected when you were a teenage girl from your adoptive parents, yes. then you went back into the foster care yes. system. Is that correct? That's correct. And what impact has that had on your life? It's made me a stronger person, honestly. I don't look like what I've been through, and I'm blessed. So. Brittany continued to search for her family even after she was told her birth mother had died. When I was 17, I had a social worker, and one thing about me is I never gave up looking for my mom, you know, my siblings. And because I used to always, you know, bug them about trying to find my family, I guess I irritated my social worker, and she lied to me and said that my mother was dead. So me not having any information, I had nothing, to, you know, I, I didn't have any information, so I had to believe what she said. So for two years, I just thought my mom was dead, and I felt hurt because I was like, why would God take her from me? And I didn't even get to meet her yet, and it broke my heart. As luck would have it, Brittany's social workers eventually found Brittany's mother, who was very much alive. It was time for Brittany to finally get some answers. She found my Facebook from my older sister, and she told me to call her. She gave me her number. Were you shocked? Yes, because it's like... Happy or sad? No, I was, I was happy, but then it was so many mis mixed emotions because at one point I'm like, she's dead. Then it just jumps to she's alive, and she wants to talk to me on the phone. I'm like, you know, <laughs> I didn't... I just kind of went with it. I didn't, did, I didn't. Did, did other family members mention to you about the abuse that you went through that you've blocked down? Yes. Alleged abuse? Yes. And you were told what from other family members? I was told that um, she, I was, a, I was premature, so I was told that she put me in a drawer and she closed it. Oh. And it was several family members, not just one. So it was like multiple people telling me, yes, she did this, yes, she did this. So I'm like starting to believe it, you know, I only can go off of what people are telling me. So I'm like, I asked her about it. What she, she denied? She denied everything, everything that I asked her. Did you believe your mom when she said she did not abuse you? Did you believe that at the time? No. Brittany and her biological mother, Demetria, came face to face on my show. And I think they each got a lot more than they bargained for. Why are you staring at me like that? Yes. You've heard what you're doing. Exactly. Daughter... That's why I'm upset. Tell me. Upset at what? Because you believe everything somebody had to tell you. I put you in a drawer. I put you in a freezer. I did all this. I did all that to you. But when I told you, it wasn't good enough for you. Because of what everybody am I... no. telling me. That Who is everybody? Were they there, All Brittany? Were they there? Were they there? Obviously, if they were. The person you. that was there is dead. I told you what happened. What I happened? Don't believe you. I what put happened? you in the drawer, stood over the drawer, put Why my makeup you put on. You was little. Drawer. You was you little. In the bed. It, it, it doesn't bed. matter. My that son was no jumping sense. out of the bed. That I didn't close the sense. I didn't close the drawer. I didn't drawer. close the drawer. That makes no sense. You still put a baby in a drawer. I can do what I want. And that's why we're in the situation that we're in. Demetria was unapologetic and defiant as she defended herself and made her case for putting Brittany up for adoption. I didn't want her. I was going to give her. I was going to give her up from the beginning. And when I came up, when I was pregnant with her, I already knew from the jump. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want the. Baby. And you wanted to terminate the pregnancy. Yes, I did. How do you think she feels when she now learns she wasn't supposed to be alive? I don't care. 
Why I did not make you get up and leave California? That was your choice. She wanted to I told, mom. You, I told you to stay there, didn't I? I told you to stay there. I was coming there to you. I wanted you to stay there, go to school, get you a job. But no, you listened to my ex. She oh, wanted to I'm find out who she was. She wants to anchor it. She wants a family. But I was she wants a loving her. mother. I was coming to her. I didn't want her to uproot anything. I was coming to her. What what name do you have on your chest, Brittany? I have her name. Check it out. Exit out. Exit out. I gotta find out. Because she believed everybody else. I, I but told you didn't really did you abuse her? No, I did not. No, I did not. No, I did not, Bill. No, I did not. God is your witness. You God is my witness. I had I seven not. children. Never had CPS How? in my house. Why did you keep six and not the seven? I didn't want her. You don't want her. You want me to lie? Emotions were flying high and things were getting heated on our set. The one thing we had to find out was what happened between Brittany and Demetria to start all of this animosity in the first place. What happened in Iowa when she came there? What happened that caused you to say that's it? Everything was fine. We were talking. She'd get in my bed. We'd, we'd talk. We'd watch TV. I'd ask her about her life. I would tell her about my life. I would tell her about her sister's and mother's life. Stop lying. See, this is the problem. You, so you didn't get in my bed? We didn't I talk? I did. What did we talk about? We didn't, what did we talk about? We didn't talk about anything. You sat there in the bed and watched TV. What did we talk about? What were you doing? On the phone. But what okay. we did talk. You, I but only time you. you brought, only no. time you brought anything out is when you when my ex got on the phone telling you, oh, your mom did this, first your mom all, did that. First of all, you're the one that gave me away. I didn't give me away. So what? You should have brought me to your house and explained so things what? right then and there. Why? I didn't have to come to you Why? about anything. Why? Why do you hate you her? Did it? Why do you hate you her so much? I didn't say I hate her. What has she done? I don't hate her. Your behavior I indicates to me her. that you hate her. I just her. don't want to deal with her. How do you love her and treat she her like this? She's crying on the you stage, don't know me. but oh, on the phone, talking big mess, and on Facebook, talking big mess, and all you that. you me. You called me ugly. You called me a beast. You called me fat. You said I'm but not what did you say that before? You said you need a DNA test. You're not fine. My kids is tired of you disrespecting me. Because you I don't want to be. I don't want you in my life. I don't care. If you would be like that, leave. if you would be like that, she maybe I would want you in my life. She can leave. You need to get out she the past. You leave. need to get out the past. Shut up, Michelle. Ain't nobody worried about you. You she shut up. She came on the show to show out. She That's what you she got. We came here because she of you. Demetria was not slowing down for anything. Watch how she defends a series of incredibly harsh Facebook messages to her long lost daughter. These are three screenshots from mom. One. I didn't even love you enough to go to the doctor when I was pregnant with you. You said, the worst time in my life was when I found out I was pregnant with you. If God asked me out of the seven kids, which one do you want me to take, I, w I would have... Taken her. I would have taken you. You're trash. So are you. Is that the way you truly feel? Honestly. There was a reason why I put that on there from all the comments You're that trying to hurt her. her. You're trying to hurt well, her. Well, why she want to hurt me? She wants to connect with you on this show. You don't connect with nobody like that, Bill. I was giving away. I didn't connect with my mother like that. Shut up. That's what you you're shut up. I don't want her in my life. I don't but want her in my kids' me. life. Because all she is is drama. Drama? How about drama. you? Mama? Because I How about know you, about Mama? Are you causing a little drama? How about you? While Demetria was trying to justify her actions toward her daughter, there was even more drama happening backstage. Demetria's other daughter, Nichelle, was dying to come out to defend her mother and confront Brittany. Oh Th my this God. is your one time she wants to reunite with her blood sister, she and that's you. She wants to reunite with her blood sister. Yeah. And but she don't you want to meet your sister? Me jealous. I'm not jealous. Don't you want to meet her? No. We got to meet her. You no, got to meet her. I'm going to right back to my Catch my that I bought the Whoa! Uh, we don't Whoa! I'm about <laughs> Unfortunately, the situation was far too explosive for the two sisters to meet face to face on stage. When we come back, we're going to hear from Brittany's sister, Nichelle, and what she had to say, and we're going to find out if they were ever able to come together as a family. Will these sisters reunite? Don't sit on this stage. Don't, pay, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't just look a while on stage. Don't do that. With much more mayhem. Oh, you're not going to disrespect me. What you not going to do? You ain't going to disrespect you. And baby mama drama. One of the girls is like her best friend. Like her day one and A ones is like. And I'm that girl, there. her best friend, is dating you, but she's also pregnant. Headed your way. No. It was no.
we've been looking back at some of our most shocking family dramas. Brittany found her birth mother, Demetria, after she was put up for adoption at the age of two. Brittany's sister, Nichelle, was here to defend her mother and meet her sister in person for the very first time. But Nichelle became so enraged at what Brittany was saying to their mother, we decided it was best to talk to Nichelle alone. What relationship do you want with Brittany? I don't know if I can have one with her. She's too disrespectful. I understand, like, my mom, but... Do you think you disrespected on. her a little bit? What? I disrespected her about Facebook. Here, I what I saw backstage. <gasps> don't care. You, you were think, ready to claw think, her yeah, eyes out. I sure out. was. I sure was. You, don't sit on this stage. Don't pay, don't 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 do it. Don't disrespect my mom on stage. Don't do that. What do you want to see? I happen? don't care. What do you want to see happen? She better... because of the way she acted with your mother and exactly. her mother. Exactly. That's what sent you over the edge. It sure did. And she was dumb. And then, that's stupid. That's how gullible you are. Why are you so gullible? I don't believe. If her that disbelief. was me, I would have been like, okay, um, can I? I don't believe. Can I look up on the internet how all this no. stuff? I don't no. believe or disbelieve. I, I don't know. She's dumb. I don't like her. Well, it didn't look like there was too much hope for a happy family reunion. We recently reached out to them for an update and received this video postcard from Demetria. Hi, Bill. This is Demetria. I just want to thank you for letting myself and my girls come onto your show to work out our problems. I just want to also give you a quick update about what's been going on. Well, the relationship between my daughter and I is still the same. It's still chaotic. She still blames me. We're still on that rough patch of life. I do want a relationship with my daughter. I would love to have a relationship with my daughter, but every time I reach out, it's the same old thing. So thanks for having us. Bye, Bill. We can only hope they can find a way in the future to finally come together. We wish them all the best and our next story jeremy was here with his mom who he said had turned from the mother of the year into a deadbeat and a possible prostitute who would routinely post sexually explicit videos online take a look at this we used to have a great family she used to take us places do different things but now all of a sudden when this new guy coming to life is like just she just hit rock bottom like like, it, it's, it's no more bottom. It's no more bottom. She at the bottom. What did this new she, boyfriend do to your mom? Look, I, I thought it was cool at first. So I gave him a chance. But then, you know, they, she decides to move into his two-bedroom apartment and quit his job. Two-bedroom apartment, you know, electricity going in and out. Barely got to depend on food stamps. She quit a job. I got to sleep on the couch in the living room, no mattress. Then she taking her time with him, with Jermaine. She going in the bedroom. They doing God knows what and just staying in there all day. Just do not come out. So I'm taking care of my brother. I'm making sure he get to school and everything. The only time they come out is for the weed, man. So your mama went from a good mom to a deadbeat mom online naked because of this guy. My friend, I moved out, and then my friend came up. He talked to me. He said, Jer Jeremy, do you see what your mom putting on Facebook? And I said, I don't follow my mom's Facebook. I don't know what's going on. What's so, on? So I'm going to tell you. So uh -huh. he, uh, he tells me, he said, look, look at it. I read, I'm like, oh my, oh my lord, I see her saying all types of stuff about prostitutes selling her body just to make rent, Jermaine supporting it, so I'm thinking he kind of pimping her, and I'm trying to figure it out, then he comes to me some months later say, Jeremy, do you see the video your mom put up? I'm like, what video? Guess what, what? we got about? the video. We were not prepared for what Jeremy's mother had to say on video that she had posted. Check it out. Person to be with me, so we struggling because he trying to be a regular everyday American. So, if I got to sell some for me to come up with our share of the rent, hey, he made a sacrifice for me, so I'm making a sacrifice for him. I'm trying to make this sacrifice. Be grateful that I'm willing to put myself out there for us to keep a roof over our head. It was time to hear from Amy herself. And it didn't seem like she had any problems whatsoever with what she was doing. Please welcome Jeremy's alleged trick-turning mom, Amy, to the show. Amy, come on out. So you lying on me now? So I'm prostitute now? I'm yeah, prostitute yes, now. you prostitute. You don't see what you putting online? You don't I, see that? I'm what I'm putting online. Okay, I know so what I'm putting online. Then why are you putting it because online? I'm a grown woman that okay. good. That's why. Okay, but I'm your son. I'm trying to get you. You... You can't be you doing that. You trying to get me well. You trying to do what? I'm trying you to get like you to embarrass me. You got me on I'm not trying to in front of a you. studio to audience us? telling Look, folks that I'm prostitute. You did so. And if my man you is did facing me. Yeah, he probably is. Okay, but I'm, why didn't you ask me about it, though? Why, why didn't you ask me about it? That was you did. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wasn't that you online?
ain't talking about selling your body for money. Yes, that was me online. Isn't and that pimping and hoeing? That's what I'm talking about. It sounds like it sounds like pimping and hoeing. It may have sounded like they were pimping and hoeing, but Amy had another name for it. Check it out. Oh. I call it Survivor. Survivor. Yeah, that's Survivor. That's Survivor. Have a seat. That's that's in a two-bedroom you... apartment selling your body. Well, yeah, right, hold on. Let me talk about for a minute. Look at it. Look at it from his perspective. When you were his age, what if you went online and found your mama, your mama, selling her body for money? How would you react? I that's what, would be embarrassed. That's what he did. Okay, that's what he did. That's how I feel. Okay, I yeah, see you on the I see you on the put stuff online, but it's more than one way to skin a cat, and that don't mean just okay, start from the back. I'm that don't mean I'm that. Wrong. Okay, but we got a family you saw about it. I don't work anymore. I lost my job. So why don't you I work? I lost my job. I work. I lost I work. my I had job. To find a job. I do so work. Then I work on your house. Amy, what about your house? Hold on, hold on, Jeremy. Jeremy, you get profit from doing my house? I don't get profit from doing your house, but I get profit from somebody else's house. If I can find an 18-year-old boy can find a job and this type of stuff, I don't get profit from doing my house. There was another person who factored into this equation, and that was Amy's fiance and alleged pimp, Jermaine. You ain't gonna disrespect him. What you ain't gonna do? You ain't gonna disrespect him. You ain't gonna disrespect him. Man, you got him. Take care of me. Take care of me. Take care of me. But he's pimping you. We moved into his house. We moved into his house. He ain't pimping me. How you know I ain't pimping you? I'm not pimping him. You know what I'm pimping my mom. She put all this on Facebook. You supporting the video. She said you supporting her selling her on video. I did not tell you that. I said you support me. You just let me tell you. I can't believe you out here saying. I'm I'm gonna support her no matter what she do. Cause she's my girl. She can sell her body and it's okay with you. No, see y'all y'all ain't y'all ain't getting it. But would you put the video for? You got you just put the video saying I'm selling. You put it on. No, I don't have them thinking that. You have them thinking that. If family, if family, if everybody, how about getting a, how about getting a real job, a job? In the end, all Jeremy wanted was for his own mother to have a regular, everyday nine to five job. The question was, would she honor her son's wishes? Look, mom, you just don't know how many times I sit in at home and cry just because. I can do something that you can't. And I want you, I want to be there for you. If you need help getting a job, I can talk to my boss just to get you up She's there. She's not doing nine to five. I don't, it ain't, it ain't that. It's just, I want, I also want better for both I of us. I do not want to work a regular it, job. But you, you got to start. in a restaurant. You, I don't want to work in a fast food you restaurant. You got to start somewhere. So what happened when they got back home? We recently checked in with Amy, and we'll let you know what she said right after the break. Surprising updates. Hi, Bill. This is Amy, Jeremy, and Jermaine. Shocking secrets. Baby that I'm carrying is Devontae. I tired of crying about everything else. I'm tired. No. In the moment that led to this. <laughs> We've been looking back at this season's most intense dramas and wildest baby mamas. Jeremy was here because he was tired of his mother posting sexually explicit videos online and maybe even prostituting for her pimp fiance, Jermaine. What happened to this family when they went home? I'm happy to say that Amy, Jeremy, and Jermaine all sent us a video postcard to fill us in on what's going on once they got back home. Hi, Bill. This is Amy, Jeremy, and Jermaine calling from Birmingham. What's happening? <laughs> we was just calling to let you know how things were going. Um, Jeremy actually is a little bit more receptive and open to my writing now, to my writing talent. <laughs> so he's been helping me um, produce my shows. He's been involved behind the scenes, and I'm really appreciative of that, that the show really helped us there. Nobody's looking at Jermaine like a pimp anymore. Aren't you happy about that, baby? <laughs> he's so happy to not be thought of as a pimp anymore. And um, we haven't got married yet, but we're working on that. We're working on another day for rescheduling. And, and you still ain't got no job, so. Well, no. I'm still writing, Bill, and I'm doing a great job at it. My fan base have grown. <laughs> well, we look forward to hearing from you. We enjoyed ourselves while we were there. You all really worked with our family, and I appreciate that. Y'all have a great day. On to the next. Now, I'm sure you'll remember Devante. Devante had a serious dilemma. His fiance was pregnant with his twins, but he had a big secret to get off his chest. Well, Bill, I'm here today because 
I'm dealing with this girl named Kia. I swear to God, I love her. She's the best woman you could ever ask for. You love Kia? I love her. All my heart. But... You put a ring on it. Yeah. In other words, you want to get married. Correct. You're engaged to be married. Yes. But before I can get engaged with her, it's, it's another step that I need to take. And it's something I need to get off my chest because I can't... I, I can't take that step. You can't with take her. the pressure. And right now, isn't it true that Kia is pregnant? Yes, it's true that she's pregnant with your child. Yes, she's pregnant with my child right now. Twins, in twins. fact. She's pregnant with twins. She, she's and baby two right now. Right, right now. And I always take care. Of, she already got two other children. I already take care of them. They love me. They call me daddy. But I need to tell her like, okay, it's, it's two females that I'm dealing with. One name. So you, you got the main squeeze. Kia has got <laughs> pregnant with two, and you got you got two other honeys on the side. Correct. Now, the thing about this is, this is a twist to it. One of the girls is like her best friend, like her day one, her A one, is like... And I'm that girl, there. her best friend, is dating you, but she's also pregnant. Correct. Now, this, this, now, let me tell you how this happened. How it happened seemed pretty obvious to me. It turns out Kia wasn't completely in the dark about Devante because she had already had her own suspicions about her future husband's antics. Well, I'm here today because my fiance, Devante, has been doing like a lot of little Shady strange, stuff. fishy things. What are they? Give All me right. some. Before, shut up, Devante. Let me talk. I want to hear what's. She came here to get answers today. In fact, you're pregnant with his twins. Yes, I am. And some shady stuff's been going on. Oh, let me tell Give you me about it. Give me two or three. Okay. Four o'clock in the morning, one night, we landed in the bed asleep. So I hear ding, ding, ding. I'm like, what is that? That's his test message. Like when he getting the message. So I'm like, who you texting? He like my mother. So I'm like, your mother. If I say, you think I'm stupid? So I go to the bathroom, and then I, stop looking at me like that. I, was, I go to the bathroom, I come back, I look at his phone, all the messages is gone. If you were texting your mother, why would you delete the messages, though? Like, you got something right. to hide, okay. though. Was... I'm in a party and stuff, you know, I'm doing my dance and stuff. <laughs> he come behind me because I got some shorts on, like, why you got them on? You looking like a hoe and this, this, and that. So I just walk off and stuff. I go in the bathroom. You know, I, it hurting my feelings, though. For I feel like I was embarrassed. I come back, he gone, and my best friend gone. So I don't know, like, what's going on. I didn't want to come to her like, oh, you, you cheating with him. I didn't want to kill her because he always be like... No, but see nothing. He always saying, don't accuse him of nothing if I don't got no So evidence. you have a suspicion he cheated with your best friend. Her name is Tia, is that right? Yes, but I don't know. You have a sure. suspicion. Which is... But, but he came here to take a lie detector test, right? Oh, you yeah. want the answers. I want the answers. You want to know what's going on. I want to know what's going on. Hold on. It was very clear. Kia knew Devante wasn't innocent. But I don't think anything, anything could have prepared her for the video message her best friend Tia sent us. Let's take a look at the uh, video. And then I want to hear from Devante. You probably told by now that me and Devante are the... I'm truly sorry about the situation. I didn't mean for it to happen, and it continued to happen. The first time it happened was at a party, and I kept going back because it was good. The baby that I'm carrying is Devante's. I don't know how you want to handle this or go through it, but... Revenge is crazy. I just got back at you for you doing what you did to me back in the day. Not only was it hey, you Tia, better not touch her. Then I, say, I really? also listen. I no, also really cheated on you with a girl that I had met in the bar. I knew her. I met her before I met you. No, really? no names. Don't get, Don't get physical. Don't get physical. Let's really get it all. I almost did. Sharice, was... let's give him a chance, honey. Explain. Explain <laughs> about both women. Her best girlfriend is pregnant. Okay. She's pregnant with your twins. Plus, you had a third chick. Describe that relationship. Okay. Man, no. No. Do third some talking. Chick, Do it some was, talking. It was just honestly just a one night type thing. Although it I don't know what a got to say. More than one time. It's, it's nothing like that. Like I said, I don't want neither one of them. You don't want to say I'm I want. cool. Devontae, I don't want nothing else to do with you. I'm done. My best friend, though, Devontae. The point, the point She's pregnant. I'm tired of crying, Devontae. Everything else. I'm tired. The point of, the point no. Of, was Devante able to dig himself out of this hole and keep his girl, or did Kia kick him to the curb? That update and a whole lot more coming up right after the break. OMG. You know what you're doing. I'm not no prostitute. You know what you're doing. I keep you know money. I work for my money. Yeah. And LDT. There's a line right there. Are you desperate to save your relationship with your family or lover? Do you want to come on the show for one last chance to make peace? We want to help end the fighting for good. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text guest at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. We're back with some of our wildest family dramas and baby mamas. 
Devontae's girlfriend, Kia, just saw a videotaped confession from her best friend, Tia, that revealed Tia had slept with Kia's fiance, Devontae, out of revenge. We caught up with Devontae and Kia at home, and here's what they had to say. Hi, Mrs. Devontae. And Kia. After the show, I was so confused. I didn't know what to do with Devontae. I just knew I was done. But once we got home, we worked it out. We was doing what's best for our family. Since the show, Kia and I got a place together. We've been working on our relationship, and we've been just awaiting the birth of our twins. I realized my mistakes, and I'm just glad Kia chose to forgive me. I don't know why. I would even risk what we had messing around with her anyway. Tia has been gone in my A. We haven't seen her since the show. Do you know where Tia is, Bill? Do you know where she's at? Thanks, Bill, for letting me get the truth out and helping me save my relationship. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Can't wait to meet the twins. Now, do you remember Ramel? Ramel said he had overwhelming evidence that his baby's mother, Brittany, had been selling her body for money. Basically, I'm here today to find out, you know, my, the, the baby, my baby's mother, see if she's been a, a cheater and a prostitute. Um, we've been together for about four years, and, um, you know, I really love her, you know, but um, it seems like, you know, she's coming home with loud, large amounts of cash. We had a baby two years ago. As soon as we had the child, you know, she started dressing promiscuous. She's a whole different person, staying out all night. You know, it's like I said, coming home with large amounts of cash, and, you know what I'm saying? I don't, and I'm like, I know where does she say at. she is? But, uh, she says she's at work or she's out partying with her friends, but, you know, don't, don't no upstanding woman be out at no, three or four o'clock in the morning. That's the devil's hour. You know what I'm saying? A wise one woman told me one time, only thing that's going out on three o'clock or four o'clock in the morning is prostitutes selling a you know what. So, yeah. you know, I'm trying to find out what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I looked in her purse. I was looking for some of mine. I found found an old condom in there. You know, was so, it in her purse? Yeah, it was in her purse. You know what I'm saying? So I I know what's going on. I ain't no fool. You can't put a wool over what mine. What you say when you say, "Here's this condom, honey"? What's uh, this? Uh, it, it was mine. It was it, it was it was yours. We used. I like, but we you know we haven't been using them. We got, just had a child. You know what I'm saying? So how how was that mine? And plus, like I said. Don't know upstanding woman, you know what I'm saying, come home at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning when you got a child. Then you're supposed to be setting an example for your child. You know what I'm saying? I call her job. She's supposed to be scheduled for work. Oh, no, she's not scheduled today. Uh, then she, But she done been up since 7 o'clock this morning getting ready, dolling up and going out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hey, something going on. Where, where's this money coming from? You know, I got a text message on the phone talking what about... What about the $40 $40, text? what's up? Forty dollars. What's up? Forty dollars. Um, she talking about that's my friend has to borrow forty dollars. No, come on, man. Some that's your trick talking about. Here goes uh, forty dollars for whatever you all gonna do. Out at the devil's hour, getting dressed up not to go to work. It sure sounded like Ramel had some valid points. So it was time to hear what Brittany had to say. Shockingly, Brittany had a completely different point of view. You know what you're doing. I keep you know money. Doing. I work for my money. Yeah, you, you know work for my money. You I go to work. work. I go to work. You work on the streets. I go to work. Your old age getting to him. No, no, no. No, I'm good. No. I'm, I'm just here. Yeah. No. What about his friends? I'm getting better. I'm getting better. That's what's happening. I'm getting better. That's it. That's it. Shut up. Let's have a seat. Honey, what about you getting in out of cars and parking lots? Yeah, what about that? All that whole story was made up. I don't even know what they talking about. I don't even hang with his friends. What about the condom in your purse? The condom, it... Tell the truth, Roman. It was yours. No, it's not. It's Come on, now. It's you, know, you know what? You know what? We use condoms you know because what? I don't know where you know, he at when I ain't at work. Who do we believe? Ramel, the condom detective, or Brittany, the hard worker? There was only one thing that was going to solve this mess. You guessed it. The lie detector test. Are you having sex for money, Brittany? No. You said no, and that's the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Back up. Thank you. Thank you. Number two. Number two, was the condom found in your purse meant to be used with someone other than Ramel? You said no, and that answer was inconclusive. What? No. Inconclusive? It was no. It, no. Yeah, it was yes. no. No. Yeah, okay. It would have been yes. Okay. It would have been yes. It, been yes. it, was, it, was, well, yes. it could be yes. It could be no. Yeah, I'm it was yes. Yes. Let's no. go to number three. No. Brittany, number three. Other than what Ramel knows about, have you had sexual contact no. with anyone other than Ramel during your relationship? You said no. That was a lie. Oh. I don't think that quite worked out the way Brittany planned. So what happened when they got back home? Well, we received an email from Ramel that said, Hey, Bill, since the show, Brittany and I have decided to stay together. In fact, Brittany is pregnant with our second child. We both love and respect each other and are working hard on our relationship and our family. Good for them. I'm glad they're here working things out for the sake of the family. Next up is Tim, 
who was desperate to prove to his fiance of eight years that he had turned over a new leaf and was no longer the scoundrel he'd been in the past. Take a look at this. I'm here today to let my fiance know that I'm not a cheater. I'm not, my past is my past, and I'm here for a lie detector test to let her know the truth and to get over all of the past, to move on with the future so I can marry her. You say get over the past. What is the past? What did you do in the past? Um, well, uh, we met eight years ago. We've been together for eight years, and um, when we first met, I wasn't truthful. I didn't close out past relationships, so they came, you know, fluttering in during the beginning of our relationship. Tim was definitely saying the right things, but what would his long-suffering fiance Jamila have to say? That plus more coming up right after this. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Do you think Brittany and Ramel will stay together? Call me with your answer. Welcome back. Family dramas and baby mamas are two of our specialties. And today we're taking a look back at some of our most memorable ones. Tim came to the show to prove to his fiance Jamila once and for all that he'd hung up his cheating shoes and was finally ready to be a faithful father to their seven children. But Jamila wasn't so sure. You're a cheater. What You've been mean? cheating the whole time we've been together. I'm no, not understanding that's you. not the truth, and I'm Timothy, not here no, to lie. I'm What's here going on? to get the truth. That's what we're here no, for. No, no, that's no, what no. I took a lot to take the test for today. Lying. You said you were okay. 21, you were 18. Okay. What about that? Wait a minute. Did you tell her you were 21, you were 18 when you started with her? Yes, that is true. Why did you do no, that? It was that was not. my past. No, no. That was the past. I just told you guys. That was the past. I just told you guys. That was the past. Okay. What about the girl that was across the hall that ended up pregnant? You said, Timothy. You said that that was your roommate, and it was okay. not your roommate. At the she time, came across the hallway we were roommates. To tell me that she I was slept pregnant. with her no, before like, we were together. Well, I went to Georgia to go visit my mother to get us a place down there so we could stop all the drama. This guy said that it was a storm in Virginia, all the power went out, and he can't contact me. So I sent somebody over there, my friend. She went over there. She said, won't no females in there. Exactly. But her baby daddy said, it was an orgy party. Timothy had one girl in the room. He had another girl in my bathroom. Timothy, that's not that's true. Look me in the eye, man. That's not, that's not true. true. That's girl, you didn't have an orgy. The power was no, out. The power. I couldn't charge Stop my lying. phone Timothy. to make phone calls. Timothy. Okay, it Stop really was a storm. Lying. Storm. Stop I don't lying. remember the storm name, but the storm had a name. It was, no. And then... Um, it was Storm Timothy. It looked to me like the odds were stacked up against Tim, but there was still a small chance things could be okay if Timothy could pass the lie detector test. Other than what Jamila knows about... Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> have you had any sexual contact with any of the women, any other women, during your relationship? Sexual contact, any other women? You said no. You was lying. That's a lie right there. Jamila, what do you think? That, that's all a lie, man. You gotta go. That's a lie, man. You gotta go. Timothy, did you have sexual intercourse or any sexual contact with your ex in Jamila's house? You said no, and that was? The truth. You was lying. Lying. No lies, man. I only tell the truth. Hold on. Hold on to that ring. We got, we got number three. This is an important one. Do you really want to marry Jamila? You're engaged. You said yes, and that's the truth. He wants to marry. You know, some may say one out of three ain't bad, but not Jamila. Do you think she made good on her promise to kick Tim to the curb? When we come back, we're going to get their update. Plus, how can two men father the same child? That's all coming up next. Are you desperate to save your relationship with your family or lover? Do you want to come? When it comes to family dramas and baby mamas, we have seen it all. And when we just saw Timothy try and fail to prove to his baby mama that he'd given up his cheating ways, did Jamila finally take Tim back? Let's check in with them and find out. Hey, Bill, it's Tim. Ever since me and Jamila left the show, we've given it a try, you know. Um, for the sake of the kids, we still live together. Um, I still love her dearly, but you know, um, due to the results of the test, I feel she's never going to be able to trust me again, and you know, maybe it's too late to save the relationship. You know, I'll keep you updated, Bill, so you know, I really appreciate it. Thanks.
Hi, Bill. It's Jamela. Ever since we came back from the show, me and Timothy, we're not together. Right now, Bill, I'm just excited that you helped me find out all the lies about Timothy and all his secrets. And one day, I'm going to find myself a man. Thank you for having me here, and I keep you up to date. Well, I'm glad the two of them are at least thinking about the children. And Jamela, we know you're going to find the right guy sometime soon. Now, what would you do if you found out someone was trying to pin the same baby on both you and your brother's lover? That's exactly what's up next. My next guest, TT. I'm here today, Bill, because Thought Nisha put a baby on my brother. Not only my brother, she put a baby on my... What's her first name? Nisha. Thought Nisha. Thought Nisha. Thought Nisha. She put a baby on my brother. Not only my brother, she put a baby on my friend with benefits. So now she's going around saying So that she put it on two men. Two men. And she can't be both right, can she? Two people, she can't have, the baby can't have two daddies. My brother couldn't make it to sign the, the birth certificate, so she went around telling everyone that my brother's the um, dad beat. But my brother bought everything for the baby. Like, he was sending her money. Like, he was. He thought it was he his. Was, he thought it was his baby. She said to your brother, this Dimitri, is, this, this is your this baby. This is Dimitri the third. She said she named the baby Dimitri, yeah. the, Stacy the third. So, so he believed this he for believed months. He believed this is his baby. When did he stop believing? When I found out, when I'm with Chris, she tagged him in a photo on Instagram, and I see it, and I say, well, why you got tagged in this photo? He's like, this is my baby. I'm like, no, this is not your baby. So Chris is your boyfriend, and she's tagging Chris. And Chris in the picture saying that this is his baby, and I seen it, so I said, why? What? Exactly. That's how I'm like, why did she tag you in the Wait, photo? that's your brother's baby. That's my brother's baby. I said, that's my nephew. He's like, no, that's not your nephew. That's my baby. I'm like, that's not your baby. So, so as we going back and forth, I'm telling him, that's not your baby, that's my nephew, that's Demetri the third. She, he, oh no, that's Christopher Jr. I'm like, no, that's Demetri the third. That's, well, what exactly was the baby's name? And where is the birth certificate? And who was taking care of this child? TT needed some answers. Is your brother taking care of the baby or your lover taking both care of the baby? Both of them taking care of the baby. Both of them. Both of them. She got them. Yeah, she got both she of got, them in your money. She, she got money. Yeah, the thought is Maybe she doesn't correct. want to clear it up. Yeah, she's just, because she know money coming from both ends. They both have money, so she, that's all that well, she let's, did too. Let's start to, so at the end of the day, we're going to have DNA tests done of both. It was time to meet the woman in the middle of all of this. So we're going to meet Nisha. Yeah. Nisha, do you love either one of these men? Either one. I love Dimitri, but I, we've been on and on. Why'd you make Dimitri feel nobody. he was the father? Because in the beginning, you said you are the baby daddy to Dimitri. <laughs> yeah, and he gave you money. We were... Whose name's on the birth certificate? Yes, who name? What is Nobody's the baby name? name on the birth Nobody's name. Nobody's name. But at, at some point, at some point, her brother said, learned he was not the baby daddy, and then you told Chris that he was the baby daddy. Right? Yes, because and me what, and Chris... Did he get money? Money, no, yeah. we wanted to get money. That's what was you know, it? That's the only reason why I did that is because Dimitri had really, like, pissed me off. And then, plus, like I said, me and Chris, we started with a condom, but we did not end like you that. You didn't end with a condom? Yeah. Do you okay, know who the baby daddy is? is? No. <laughs> who is I the baby daddy? I would say, daddy? like, I'm, personally, <laughs> she don't know. Dimitri is the baby's father. Is it possible, no matter how remote, that the baby daddy may not be on the show today? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Dimitri is the father. Coming up, we're going to meet the men in the middle of this baby mama drama and find out who their father is. I'll give you a hint. It's not who you think it is. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Do you think Brittany and Ramel will stay together? Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answered and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL right now. Welcome back. TT came here to confront Nisha about the maternity of Nisha's baby. Nisha had told both TT's brother and lover that each was the father of her baby. And here's what the two men had to say. I heard you the daddy of that baby. You heard it wrong. That's your baby. That baby look just like you. Nah, look at that nah, hair, boy. Nah, look at that nose. Look like you. Nah, I look like a broke man <laughs> nah, just like nah, you. No you, job like you. Tommy. <laughs> Maybe she got to come back because I ain't the daddy. He said he ain't the daddy. She'll be back another day. As you can see, neither guy was taking responsibility for Nisha's baby. It was time to get the DNA test results, and Chris was up first. Chris, you are not the baby daddy.
Dimitri, what does this mean to you? Hey, man, I ain't been scared till you told him he wanted a daddy the whole time. <laughs> Nisha, baby, Nisha, baby, Nisha, baby. Nisha, what does this mean to you, Nisha? You I mean, to be honest, Just I want Dimitri to be the father. No, you don't. You, you, you want him to be the father. I want Dimitri to be the father. When it comes to maternity, a beautiful baby, hey, Katie, but Dimitri. Yeah, I know. You are not the baby. <laughs> And there you have it. Both men were off the hook. But what happened when they got back home? We recently caught up with Demetrius and Christ, who both told us that although neither is the father, both would gladly step in to help Nisha out. Nisha told us that after the show, she made contact with the baby's father, and things are going great. Well, that's it for our look back at some of the wildest family dramas and baby moms. So here's the bottom line. There's nothing like having a family that has your back. So before you turn your back on your family, extend your hand and show some love and save the drama for TV, not real life. Now here's a few more moments of mayhem for you to check out, and I'll see you the next time. When it comes to the fraternity, Lila Gregory, that beautiful child, you are not the baby dad. When it comes to the fraternity of William Jr., of that beautiful boy, look at that little boy right there. William, you are the baby daddy. It comes to the maternity of beautiful baby Caden. Dimitri, you are not the baby daddy.